Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Gran Turismo 6. Today is episode number 51. If you guys do want to keep up to date with what is going on on the Mechanic CG channel, then make sure to go down in the description and check out all of our social links. We've got Discord, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, and if you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button, that subscribe button, all that like button. And hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so for this race, this is going to be the 10 laps of Suzuka Challenge. And we're going to be taking the GTR R35 Touring Car again. I know we've taken this car a lot of times. Um, but it feels like the only car that I feel comfortable driving around this track. Especially as it is a 10 lap challenge of Suzuka. And this is a very intricate course. Um, and the cars, based on the picture... Are like GTR rear wheel drive kind of cars and those are very quick cars so I feel like the touring car would give us a little bit of a heads up uh, because if you look we got the GTRs these are like rear wheel drive cars this will give us the advantage to get a win um, so I think we'll just get straight into it GTR R35 we're gonna uh, I think take hard tires first We'll see how that goes, and then we might take softs for the second section. But it has to be like, the tyres have to last long enough, and yeah. There we go. So we are looking at Nismo GTRs, Casual Tom Supras. They're all basically Japanese cars, so having the GTR, I feel like, uh, sort of goes off of that theme as well. So let's get into this race. 10 laps. This is going to take about 23 minutes or something like that. Right, here we go. We are at the Suzuka circuit in Japan. And we are taking the GTR around for 10 laps of the circuit. 10 laps. That is a lot of laps. A lot of laps. Perfect. Right. Let's see how well this first corner goes. Very well, actually. Okay, so the S-Bends we need to improve on, but we can do that on future laps. I wish it was like an hour long race, like... Like they definitely don't have much endurance to these Super Series. Or in fact endurance in any of these races in this game. Perfect. So we're aiming to overtake about two cars per lap. Perfect. Look at that. That is one lap completed of Suzuka. We now have nine more to go and 17 seconds to catch up with. Obviously aiming for top three as always with these races. I'm kind of impressed by how much fuel we've used though in one lap. Um... Oh, careful. I really hope there's a way around this that doesn't involve fuel saving methods. Because I don't really want to be going much slower if I'm trying to overtake people. 
Ah, losing positions already. Don't make this a wasted lap where I haven't earned any positions. Right. Right, we got the NSXs up ahead. Okay, so we should be able to do five laps uh, on a full tank of fuel, just about. Um, but whether we'll be able to do five laps on a set of tyres, I'm not 100% sure yet. Like, there are cars that have already gotten many, many miles ahead of us right now. Which is physically impossible. In real life, that would not happen. Because cars cannot go that quick. Look at them. They're gone. Come on, stay on the track. Awesome. And someone has spun out behind us. Oh no. That is not good. That would have been one of those NSXs. So we've done just under three laps. No! That was lucky that was a slow section that there was no accelerating. But that was not a corner cut at all. You can tell I'm pissed off because I actually pronounced my T's. Right. Two more laps before we have to pit. Perfect. Look at those corners there. Right, all of the other seven cars are within reach. Obviously not immediately within reach, but eventually within reach. And it's raining. That's not good. Uh, that is not good at all. We don't have any wet tyres. That is atrocious. Okay. 
Okay, so the surface level of water is 0% at the moment. Let's hope it doesn't go up. Otherwise, we'll have to get the intermediates out. And we don't even have intermediates. Okay, so the road isn't wet enough. So that's fine. We are going to have to use fuel saving tactics for now. We're going to decide how much... Um, if we... Uh, we can't actually buy intermediate so so we're gonna have to stick with racing hard they are completely slick tires though so it could be a problem for us it is a light rain though so Give, give us a chance, game. Would be nice. Right, so third position is up in front. So that is what we need to aim for. We are obviously going into the pits this lap. Uh, getting ourselves racing hard. Right, where is the pit lane? Here. Right. Uh, the rain doesn't look too bad. Racing hard with a maximum tank of fuel. In fact, we probably don't need maximum fuel. We've still got a little section left. Here we go. Have a little sip of my drink. ASMR Coke drinking. Right, we're just waiting for the fuel to be fueled. And we are off. We are off. We are off. Brand new tyres. And we are taking control immediately of the car. Okay, so... Surface water is still next to nothing. To be fair, I don't think any other cars actually um, pitted. I think most of them are going to be pitting on this lap, which is where we will then... The ones that pitted last lap, or the lap before, are all here. Right, I don't like that that says 15th and we have loads of laps, but I'm trying to put into my mind that there are other cars still waiting to go in. Surface water is still at 0% though. So we could be in luck. Forty two seconds means uh they haven't taken the pit stop yet. Right, let's see. How many cars are we going to overtake in the pits now? Uh-oh. Uh, surface water is now 1%. Uh-oh. That's climbing. That is climbing. 
We have hard tires on. Three percent. Okay. This is just going to get worse from here on out. But I have a feeling the other cars may not have intermediates on. I mean, would they? Yeah, braking needs to be uh, brought a little bit further forward. To be fair, we won't hit more than 30% if it keeps going up at the rate that it is. If it gets any quicker, then we'll be in intermediate territory. Easily. In fact, it's a lot wetter than I was expecting it to be. That was not a shortcut! Oh, here we go. They're all pitting now. We're now in fourth. Ah, oh, this is lagging like crazy though, because there are so many people in the pits at the moment. To be fair, we're doing very well on hard tyres in the wet. Wow, in the rain. I wouldn't say it's wet weather yet. I was not expecting it to start raining though. Um, to be fair, I don't think anyone expects it to start raining. We're in first. Right, if we are in first and we don't... Because we are more than halfway through the eighth lap, which is more than halfway through the second stint. And we haven't quite used up half of our fuel. We may need fuel saving tactics uh, towards like the final section of the final lap. But for now, we should be fine. And the tyres are holding up really well. That should be at 5 by now. It is at 6. So we are just above where we need to be. Hopefully our tyres should last us for the rest of the race. Well, they will do. In fact, they're still at 6 and they should be at 4 by now. So that is very good, actually. The rain has sort of calmed down by the looks of it. Um, it's not as crazy as it was. I think those other GTRs as well went into the pits. Two of them went into the pits. Ah, look at that. 12%. 11%, 10%, hey, that is decent, we managed to sit out the rain. And now we can go max power and actually enjoy this race. That is lucky that that stopped then and that we didn't go in for uh, wow, that we didn't have intermediates to go in for. Because if we did, we'd be stuck out here in the dry on intermediates. And now we're stuck out here on hard tyres. 
And I have a feeling the rest of the drivers are actually, if they are on intermediates, or they were, then they're going to be a lot slower. Um, and if they are on hards, then they'll be quick. But nothing phases me. Eighteen minutes into this race, that is crazy. And we're gonna win. We're gonna win our first super race, hopefully. I have said that now, so I'm gonna probably gonna crash and ruin it. Uh please don't. Gran Turismo Gods, you are absolutely amazing and I love your game very much. Please don't make me crash. Thank you very much. Forza was never this excited. Genuinely, Forza just doesn't have that gameplay experience. It feels very clunky whenever you drive a car. I do like the uh, fuel map thing in GT Sport. So I hope that comes forward for like uh, GT3 cars and that. But obviously like normal cars shouldn't have the fuel map unless they have like fuel map settings on them because I think Bugattis have like fuel maps where you can like set it to be like nearly nothing but then the engine turns into like a 100 horsepower like nothingness we're looking very good for fuel even now So the maximum fuel tactic does seem to work. Oh. Told you it would happen. But we are so far ahead, it's not too much of a problem for us. It might be a problem for our fuel, so uh, we will try fuel saving tactics for the next few minutes. In fact, no, we don't even need fuel saving. Look how much fuel we got. Awesome. And here we go. Coming across the finish line. With a win. Thank you very much. Do you know, our fastest lap was our first lap. That was the only lap we were actually fast on. The rest of the laps were terrible. I think I have just broken our AI car. Oh, no, it was waiting to come on safely. 10 second gap between the car from our car and the car behind. So that is very good. GG. 36 miles that was. Nice. Let's see how much money that got us. Root Master. I wonder what that's for. Hang on. Let's have a look and see uh, what Root Master is for. Trophy collection. We've done 67% of the uh, trophy so far. Where is Root Master? Can I not find it? Here we go. Travel 2,451 miles, uh, 3,945 kilometers in total. The length of America's infamous Route 66. Oh! Oh, Jesus, is it really that long? God, I am not looking. <laughs> I would not look forward to uh, going to uh, Route 66 then. That'd be a. I mean, that would be a really nice road trip. There we go. 107,000 credits, 391,000. I will take that and the three stars. And we'll go to the next race in the next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to keep up to date on the Mechanic CG channel, then be sure to check out the description for our social links. We've got Twitter, 
Discord and Instagram if you want to go check all of those out. Uh, if you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button. Or you can go and grab yourself some merch. Either would mean the world to me. But thank you guys so much for watching. Peace. Oh,